Paul Espargaro says Honda has serious problems with rear grip on its 2022 MotoGP bike after a really bad Portuguese Grand Prix. You know where to find all the details for your daily dose of motorsports adrenaline, so if you have not yet subscribed to Ferment Motorsport, do it now unless you're a slowpoke. Anyways, Honda overhauled its RC 213V for the 2022 season after several lean sessions prompted by Mark Marquez's serious arm injury in 2020 and a lack of result for the HRC's other riders. The new bike was met with glowing praise by most Honda riders in the pre-season as the rear-biased motorcycle delivered the rear grip it had been missing for some time. While the feeling on the front end was a bit different, with this being the key issue in Marquez's understanding of the bike currently, Honda started strongly in Qatar, with Espargaro finishing third after fighting for victory. But aside from Marquez's rise up to the field to sixth in Austin, strong results have been hard to come by since the opening round of the season. In Portugal, all Honda riders struggled for pace, with Marquez leading his brother Alex Marquez in sixth, while Espargaro was ninth. All three HRC runners over 16 seconds from victory. Branding his race as tough, difficult and really bad, Espargaro said the main issue at Portima was the lack of rear grip and is at a complete loss as to what is causing this. We are missing what we had on in the pre-season. It's difficult to understand because we do not stop the bike in the correct place with the rear brake, he began. And then we are leaning too much, opening the throttle, spinning on the edge. It makes no sense also that we choose the hard tyre and the other riders on the grid chose the medium. We chose the hard because it felt better for us on the acceleration, the traction, but we saw Mark use the medium and it was the same. We are always choosing between what we want to get, side grip or drive grip. Our rivals have both, so why do we need to choose? It's difficult to understand because the bikes we are using now were working perfectly in Qatar or in the pre-season. Feeling of everyone was good apart from some small problems in the front, nobody was complaining about the rear. And now we have a serious problem and we don't know how to solve them. Now it's time to be united in the factory and work in one line together. Espargaro added that no major changes have been made to the Honda since pre-season testing and it was by far the fastest bike on the grid. So why do we need to change the bike if we were fastest in pre-season? It makes no sense to change the bike. In pre-season, we were the fastest in one lap, but also the fastest in rhythm by far. So we didn't change the bike because the bike was amazing. We added some small details that didn't produce the big changes and we are suffering.